Here we have a limiting reagent problem, and we're looking at the oxidation of silver with H2S to and O2 to form silver sulfide in water. We're given 2.4 grams of silver, 0.48 grams of H2S, and 0.16 grams of oxygen. And we want to know how much silver sulfide would be formed. So we need to identify the limiting reagent, which of the reactants is up first. To do, to do this, we need to convert the moles reactants, the mass reactants, to their moles. So I need the formula weight. The formula weight of silver is 107.9 grams per mole. The formula weight of H2S is 34.0 grams per mole. And the formula weight of O2 is 32.0 grams per mole. And notice that since these numbers have two sig figs, I took my molar masses to three or more sig figs. Now, if this was in excess and this was of excess, I would take the moles of this, I would take the mass divided by the moles, then divide by its coefficient and multiply by that coefficient. That's the stoichiometric step. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the mass of this, divide by its molar mass, divide by the coefficient, calculate it we would then multiply by that number to come up with the moles of this. Do the same thing for each of the reactants. And whatever is the smaller number at the step of dividing by the coefficient is the limiting reagent. So I start with 2.4 grams of silver. I divide 107.9 grams per mole. And that would give me um, 0.0224. And then I divide that by 4. And that gives me the number 0.055. Five, six. Now I'm going to repeat this down here in a minute just so you can see what I'm doing. If I take the mass of this, divide by its formula weight, divide by its coefficient, I come up with 0.48 divided by 34 divided by 2 is 0 0.00706. Now if I take the um, mass of this, divide by its formula weight, divide by its coefficient of 1, I get 0.0. Um, now, um, this is the smallest number, so this is the limiting reagent. I would then take this number, multiply by 2, and I come up with my theoretical yield of 0 0.010 moles of AG2S. Now, let's walk our way through this, but multiply each of these by that. So, if I was to do this the long way, I'd say I have two 0.4 grams of silver. Now I want to convert that to moles, so I divide by the molar mass, like we just did a minute ago, 107.9 grams per mole of silver. And now I want to convert this to the moles of AG2S. So in the conversion step, I have 4 moles of silver, which is this number here, 0.00. Five, six, and it's unitless. The grams um, of silver canceled. The moles of silver canceled. And then I would multiply by 2 moles um, Ag2S. And that would have given me 2 times this number, which is bigger than this. So that was an excess reagent. Now I could have taken this one here, and I started with 0.48 grams of Ht, um, H2S. I then divided by its molar mass, 34.0 grams per mole of H2S. And then I divided by its coefficient, which was 2 moles H2S. And that number was 0 0.0076. And I could have multiplied that by 2 moles of Ag2S to calculate the moles of this produced. And 2 times this is bigger than 0.01. Now I could take the number which we've already identified as the limiting reagent, 0.16 grams of O2. We divided by its molar mass, 32.0 grams per mole of O2. And then we divided by its coefficient, 1 mole O2. And that was equal to 0.005. And then we multiplied that by 2 moles of Ag2S. So if I had done, gone the long way, I could have taken 2.4 divided by 107.9. And then said for every four of these, I made two of these. And the answer would have been 0.111 
moles. I could have taken 0.48 grams of this, divided by its molar mass, and then said that for every two of these, I make two of these, and that would have given me 0.0141 moles. But we noted that since this was the smallest number, um, this would have run out first, and when I take 0.16, divide by 32, divide by um, 1, and multiply by 2, I get 0 0.0100, that is the mass of silver sulfide produced. And since this number had two sig figs, two sig figs, and two sig figs, I would express my answer to two sig figs. So let's review this one last time quickly. You can work this out linearly, or you can write your masses, write what you need to convert them to moles, convert your masses to moles, and once you know the moles of this, once you know the moles of this, and once you know the moles of this, divide by the coefficient, the smallest number is your limiting reagent. Okay, I think that was too long.